Looking at the White House's plan for gun control really kind of opens up a lot of question marks uh, on the ethics behind it. Uh, and one that really stands out specifically is the White House has ordered the Department of Justice to pay states $230 million for turning in their citizens when it comes to gun background checks. What's that mean? Well, what that means is if there's any identifying factors to enhance red flag laws, um, any sort of uh, personal medical information, any sort of anything that might be in a state record uh, that would allow them to enhance red flag laws and increase the possibility of you being turned down for a background check because of the information that the state will provide you. Now, you also want to keep in mind that uh, medical marijuana is legal in a lot of states. So if those states begin to turn those people in, they become felons all of a sudden. Uh, this is something that you got to be aware of, that the White House has ordered the Department of Justice to pay states $230 million for their cooperation in giving any sort of information about you when it comes to enhancing red flag laws and decreasing your chance of passing a background check. Um, again, it's the White House ordering the Department of Justice to do this, and this is already playing out. Now, what I can say coming from the state of Missouri, I'm not real worried about this now, uh, but we're one election cycle away from that changing dramatically. But man, there's half of the states in our union are, are just turning over your information. Medical information is private information. That should have nothing to do with your background check, but they're turning it over uh, and, and they're paying them to do it. The Department of Justice is writing them a check. You give us this information, we'll write you a check. Um, this is dangerous behavior. Uh, one would say unconstitutional, definitely a violation of your privacy for sure at the very minim minimum a violation of your privacy when it comes to your medical information. So uh, there you go. White House orders the Department of Justice to pay states $230 million for turning their citizens in when it comes to guns. Mm. Any thoughts or insight on that, definitely put that below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. If you'll call to support this channel with Patreon, that link is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests, so please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns. <music>